How's it going, guys? Um, hope you can hear me. Hope all's well with the stream today. I'm just going to talk through some of my selections, results, some of my sheets, and um, kind of talk a little bit about why it's important to look at different angles on certain strategies, trying to always look for what you could improve, what you could make better, but not necessarily removing uh anything that you're currently looking at um so i'll get into that a little bit more that'll make more sense i know probably doesn't make a ton of sense saying that right now strange strange weekend right so obviously the queen dying really sad event i don't think i mean i'm not a royalist particularly at all um but i don't think there's many people that wouldn't have felt just a bit like oh you know when that happened um and yeah i mean it's it's shocking because it's just i mean it's funny because it's someone who obviously was in their mid 90s uh had a crack in life i mean lived life to the full like you know probably no one <laughs> has ever done um and yet it was still a shock you, you almost kind of expected her to live forever i don't know why obviously that's unrealistic but it's i think it's just one of those things and uh yeah it's a it's it's been a strange time i think um you know obviously prince charles becoming king now will people you know revere him in the same way i think he's going to have to do something for that to happen i don't think that's just going to happen I think he's going to have to do something special um you know the national anthem i don't i'm not going to stop seeing god save the queen until charles really gives me a reason to say god save the king um so yeah anyway that's kind of my thoughts on it and um, hope everyone's doing well um one thing that does kind of annoy me is that they shouldn't have cancelled football this weekend it made no sense right so we got the news on thursday this is day four and we can't watch super sunday today because we're all supposed to be in mourning still four days later now i've had loved ones close to me who've died and within four days you're back to your normal life you know and we're talking about someone that probably most of us have never met and certainly probably no one watching was particularly close to them it's just crazy to me i get it for like the first couple of days and i was fine with the norwich game being cancelled on friday so this doesn't really affect me in terms of my teams because obviously norwich game was cancelled and i was fine with that that's the next day take a day if you need it whatever but you know life's gone on school went on work went on everything went on it doesn't make sense to me that so we're not allowed entertainment we're not allowed to be entertained in a time where some people are feeling really sad we're not allowed to enjoy ourselves and kind of a take our minds off it and b celebrate her life you know one thing we know about the queen is she wouldn't have wanted us to sit around moping i mean if anyone exemplified not being that kind of person it was her she very much lived life to the full and um, so I think it's I think it's a bit over the top cancelling football this whole weekend. Even if you wanted to cancel it Saturday, to not have it on today um, just seems a bit ridiculous to me. But anyway, um, it's good because you know I, I'm going to do this live stream. Hopefully, give something you know give you guys something to watch instead of watching your football this weekend. For me, this weekend is a very special weekend because it's the start of the NFL season. And anyone who knows me well or who's listened to me a lot will know American football is actually my favorite sport. Obviously, I talk a lot more about football and I trade football a lot more, but American football is actually my number one sport. I absolutely love it. I'll watch, you know, any kind of top tier of American football. I watch the top tier of college football. I watch that every Saturday during the season, NFL on a Sunday. And if I could get access to it, I'd, I'd happily watch the high school stuff. Um, you know, and watching all these players who come through, it's uh, it's brilliant. I absolutely love it. So it's great to have the NFL back. 9-11 today as well. I've just realized that. So that's a weird one. I imagine they'll be doing some things to commemorate that and commemorate the Queen at the NFL today. Amazing reach she had, actually, when you think about it. And the fact that all these other countries who weren't ruled by her are uh, still still celebrating her life, which is cool. Um Chris, great to great to see you on the chat, mate. Football made a mistake not paying respects this weekend, judging from the cricket yesterday. Um, yeah, I mean that's the thing, isn't it? Right? Cricket's 
Right. So if, if I was to pick a sport that I would think would stop because of the Queen, I would think it would be cricket over football. The reason is it's much more elitist, right? And the royal family is the absolute elite of the elite, right? Whether you like that truth or not, that's the truth, right? If you're talking about elitism and, you know, being upper class, that is surely the upperest of upper class in our country. So, yeah, it's, uh, you know, if cricket found it acceptable to carry on, then, you know, they had a day off. Again, I'm happy with the day off. I'm happy with the day for people to get, you know, get over it, get ready. Not even get over it so much as just get over the shock, right? And then the next few days you can, but, you know, I mean, if you are really kind of depressed about it, surely the worst thing you can do is go, right, you should all be in mourning. Just go sit in your house. I don't know if they just want us to lie in bed for a couple of weeks and just cry. I don't know. What we're, we're supposed to be having a period of mourning. I mean, what does that even mean? It just, I, I mean, it seems about out of touch with modern day society to me. Um, you know, kind of, it's funny because it, it, all this stuff kind of makes me feel like we've gone, we go back in time a bit because it's like, well, oh, it's tradition. Is it? Because it hasn't happened in any of our lifetimes, right? It might have been tradition hundreds of years ago, but it's, it's crazy to me. And, and I agree with you, Chris. You know, we're sitting here, we're now waiting for the NFL. Well, kind of i mean we've got european football we've still got the rest of world football and actually for a trader like me who doesn't trade at the start of the season the premier league and championship in terms of trading aren't any relevance to me yet anyway um so it hasn't really made any difference to my trading um so let's let's actually get into some of this shall we um i'm going to get into some of the results and then we'll look at basically some work i've been doing on the combined filters to kind of my kind of goal with this, some of this stuff, is just to create the ultimate goals filter. You know, a goals filter where I go, that is so strong. I am I think that game is pretty much guaranteed to have at least two goals. And then it's going to be, lots of them are going to be having more than that, three, four, five, whatever. Um, so I'm going to go through the members filters. These are the ones we send out um, apart from the first half goal one. Um, so there's a couple of these we don't send out, but they're on the members filters section of the software. So you all get access to these selections. And I've just realized that Finland on here shouldn't actually be on there because Finland's season is pretty much done. I think they're in playoff mode, actually. So I'll just remove those games. Um, but anyway, I did, I've done the results up to the 6th here. So I've done August. Um, this is first half goal if it's nil-nil at 15 minutes. I do like the idea of getting in on these strategies, you know, getting in on these in play because they have been worked out to kind of filter some of the leagues. And these strategies have been going for so long that they're pretty solid. They're pretty consistent from what I've seen. And the thing is, the other thing I'd say is that obviously you've got a lot of you've got a lot of good selections here um, and you, we kind of know what we need from them, which is good. Um, so this one has around 66% strike rate of winning. So obviously we need odds around 1.5 plus at 15 minutes. Well, most of the time you're going to get that, especially on a lot of these types of games. Um, it's interesting because this doesn't throw up like the Singapore League, which obviously you'd get ridiculously short odds on. A lot of it's kind of Sweden, Japan, Norway, Bolivia, whatever. Now with these, I'm only going to strike rate at the moment. What I'm waiting for is the back testing. Once the back testing comes in, I'm just going to run all this through the back testing. Um, so once we do that, I can get all the odds anyway. So I'm not going to waste my time, you know, trying to, you know, I'm certainly not going to be buying Betfair data for thousands of pounds to do that. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, this one's done all right. First half goal, not my biggest, not my favorite market first half goal um i have to admit second half goal um this is gary's second half goal again a really old uh, strategy here striking it close to 90 percent. so if you do want something where you're just literally looking for a second half goal um this is the one that you want to look at the results all the way up to the start of september there and then this is the bet green strategy which actually tracks whether there's a goal before 70 minutes so i've kind of simplified it for the fact of trying to work out a strike rate on this without having to watch all the games live um, and again like with all these strategies it'd be impossible uh, to do that let me just have a look at yeah so um 
I've got the results up to, again, the start of September. 90% of the games are having a goal before 70 minutes, which is pretty amazing, even though Malmo let us down. Uh, and the first half goal strike rate is actually 77.55%, which is high as well. Um, so that's another one to look out for, for there. Late goal, any score. This one's been doing well. So you back a goal after 60 minutes, and it's 76.42% so far. Um, this one is pretty solid, uh, probably one of my favorite of these. Then we've got late lay the draw, which is pretty much the same, except you just lay the, well, you back another goal if it's drawing. Um, I used to say lay the draw, but it's, lay the draw is just unnecessarily complicated because you're not getting that much better odds at 60 minutes plus than if you just backed another goal. So you may as well just back another goal because uh, obviously with lay the draw, if you get two quick goals and equalizer comes in, you're screwed um, on that and you're kind of just begging for another goal. And um, this strike rate isn't that good. So on these, my target strike rate is around 72, 73%. So this one is probably a, a candidate for a strategy I might get rid of. Um, I'm probably going to look at getting rid of some of the strategies soon that I track just because it's going mental with the amount of games I'm tracking. So I think some of the worst ones I'm just going to get rid of. Um, that said, the strategy will still exist. So, you know, again, once we get back testing, it'll be really easy to run that through and see. Well, is this something that's uh, obviously worse? I think it is. I think that is a worse strategy than the going for the late goal any score. And that's been proved before. I did this update of modern results. So it's the same in the old ones. Okay, over 1.5 goals, split stake. A nice little run here, actually. Seven winners in a row. Until this weekend, I haven't um, updated the results yet. Uh, but it's up until the 6th of September. 78% there, very, very solid. Again, all of these have high strike rates. So if you are one of those traders who's like, I want a trading strategy on winning a lot, well, you're going to win a lot of the time here. Um, and that's the thing to remember that a lot of people kind of, you know, they want, I've noticed that people want strategies that win a lot. Um, you know, obviously you want to combine that with actual profit, um, which is what these do as well. So, Let's get into what we really want to get into today, which is the combined strategy that I've created. So for those who don't know or for anyone who, who hasn't really understood, basically what this strategy is, is it's a combination of lots of other strategies where they throw up the same selection, suggesting that there will be goals. So let's say I have an over 2.5 goals filter and I have certain criteria and let's say Man United playing Liverpool that day, and the game shows up on that filter. Okay, that's one filter. Now, if it shows up on my both teams to score filter or my first half goal filter as well, suddenly, let's say it shows up on both, that's three filters it's on. And that means it's a selection. So what I've been doing is any match that basically is on three or more filters, I've been selecting as basically having a chance of high goals. Actually, ironically, there is a Liverpool Man United game here. I didn't realise that. Um, but anyway, so basically, that's what it does. And the idea is it should be choosing super strong goal selections because it's on a lot of the filters. Now, originally, I'd only been doing this on games where um, they'd actually qualified on all of these profitable members filters. But now I've expanded the amount of strategies that I use for this to basically get three out of. And I'm finding that I might need to increase the criteria to it needs to appear on at least four strategies. Um, because as you can see here, so let's go to the early days where it was only one um, strategy. Uh, sorry, it was only the profitable members trading strategies. So these first few selections here, which is about where it goes up to on that, Let's have a look. So there are only three games that didn't have over 2.5 goals out of these, what, 17 selections. Um, so the goal rates were really high. But what I've noticed is that some of the more recent games haven't been great. So I'm just going to show you. Let's go down here. Now, this is the period where I opened up and I was using more strategies to pick from. Um, and as you can see here, just looking at you know the last weekend or so, couple of just one goal games there, 
a one goal game here a nil nil and a one nil yesterday and the interesting thing here is that that's our first nil nil right 72 selections and we finally found a nil nil amazing right uh, very difficult to do that but what i noticed was what i do is i have a section here called rating and this basically says how many filters the selection showed up on um now i think that so, yeah, that's something that I've only added in recently. Okay. And then I looked and I went, well, hang on. These nil ones, these low scoring games, there's a pattern here, right? The rating three, three, both times three there. Okay. Just one goal. Let's, let's keep going down. Okay. Any more low scorers? A couple of two nils here. And two nil isn't great, right? So you could say, okay, well, there was a one one on the five rating here that's not great but that's the first one i've seen that's not been a free and here's some two goal games where the ratings three again two nil ratings three two nil ratings three one nil one nil ratings three one nil ratings three one one ratings three nil nil and one nil so i thought well wow, that's that's huge right that seems to really show that the games that are struggling are all threes anything that's on four plus isn't struggling so i then thought okay maybe four plus is the answer here um so let's I'll, what i'll do because i've gone back and got all the results now and all the profit figures i'll show you what the profit is anyway on this so we've got about 72 games in um over 1.5 is around 85 percent it's kind of at break even level so again i think those threes have pulled this down quite a lot over 2.5 70 percent which actually is still good over 3.5 still good over 4.5 solid first half goal on both teams to score aren't at particularly good rates there um so i wouldn't i mean if I'm, I'm trading these i i don't use first half goal or both teams to score on these but i'm still going to track the data and again i think it's important to track as many things as you can just to kind of make sure that it's worth eliminating them and so let's go to 59 minutes so this is if you get a goal after 59 minutes we've got 82 percent here 72 percent here 60 percent here 43% here, okay, all really, really good figures. However, you're probably sick of me talking about percents on this spreadsheet. So the good thing is I do actually have profit figures here. Oh, I should make these into pound coins, shouldn't I? And do, do, do. British pounds sterling, yes. Um, so the over 1.5 is two pound profit, wow. You know, you're gonna be getting rich here. The over 2.5, is 71 pound profit so seven points profit really solid over 3.5 161 pound profit 16 points up fantastic and over 4.5 221 pounds up okay and interestingly first half goal and both teams score would have lost money which again supports the theory that you know using this strategy they're just not worth doing so what i then did was i thought well what i'm going to do is i'm going to now compare the, the basically this sheet um with what if i only add in the games that are on four plus filters now there's not going to be many selections on this yet because i've only just done it i've only just started adding in the actual number of filters that are used um but it came up with 12 i think 12 uh, maybe 11 11 so let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine. oh no it's 12. okay so we've got 12 selections here um and i think the results are, are really interesting so what i'll do is i'll just scroll across and we'll have a look at the results um as you can see here actually just looking at the full time and the goals the goal times you can see i mean we've had one game that's had two goals everything else has had three or more um we've had one two three four five six seven so the majority of games are having four or more goals we've had one two three four five so nearly half the games over 4.5 goals and you know let's just put that into perspective here 
we're getting odds of 4.1 on over 4.5 goals there. So that is huge. Um, really, really good showing. Again, you know, very early on in the data sequence. But I don't think it's a surprise. You know, we've looked at something, we've gone, it does seem like four plus is the answer. Um, so I, for my trading I, at the moment, I would definitely be sticking in the four plus. Um, it's going for the late goals as well. So let's get through this. Let's have a look at the percentages. Over 1.5, well, we know every game so far has had that. Over 2.5 is nearly 92%. Over 3.5 is 59%. Over 4.5 is 50%, and first half goal is 83%. Both teams to score 83%. First half goal and both teams scoring, incidentally, actually are much improved so far um, and looking pretty good. Um, 59 minutes plus a goal, 83%. Same with 69 minutes. So imagine if you're getting in at 70 minutes and you're winning you're getting another goal, you know, 83% of the time. You're going to make a lot of money long term. Now, these these percentages will get more towards the mean as we go on. Um, I don't think it can stay this consistent. But there's no reason to expect it a massive drop off. Um, and then 84, you know, goal after 84 minutes, the majority of the time. Well, we know we're getting odds around 2 to 1 plus at that time in a match. So the over 1.5 profit and loss is £18. Pounds. Over 2.5, £43. Over 3.5, 35 And over 4.5, 78 And considering how many less selections there are, that, those are phenomenal numbers, especially um, the over 2.5, 3.5, and 4.5. And interestingly, first half goal on both teams to score are in profit, unlike the other strategy. Um, you know, both teams score is actually three points up, so doing pretty well so far. Okay. Don't think I've got today's selections in this one yet because I add it later. But we know what today's selections are because they're going to be games which are in four or more filters. So what I'm going to show you here do, 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 is that these two, again, would not be games that I'd be interested in trading. I'm going to keep tracking the results of these threes, but it just seems a bit too risky to me uh, looking at that those results so far however there is one game ranheim against asane asane i don't know how to pronounce it and um, that's kicked off at 2 p.m um now this is one i can we can actually look at how it's getting on actually because it's 253 i've got it in my live score thing i set that up a while ago i don't know how it's gone actually i don't know how the half i know there's been i think there's been at least one goal because i heard a ping did you hear that ping if you're listening, do you actually hear that ping? Um, if you did, let me know, because uh, that's basically a goal ping that comes on Football 24. That's why I like that site, because I like the ping it does when there's a goal. So I think there's been at least one goal. Um, the odds are pretty short on over 1.5 and over 2.5, but they do get more interesting on 3.5 and 4.5. First half goal odds, not great, but not awful. Same with both teams to score. So um, let's see what the score is. I'm, it's going to be half time, isn't it? So let's go over to the game here. Half time, one two. So we've got three goals in the first half, which is you know brilliant. And and this could be a situation if you were into trading these off. These are set and forgets for me. But if you were into trading these off, you could just uh, green up now on three point five and four point five and take a massive profit. Um, I'm obviously going to let it run here and hope that there's at least one more goal. And that would be the ni a, a nice situation for me. Um, so let's have a look. Yeah, so we've won four out of the six already. Admittedly short odds uh, on these, but that's only at half time. So, you know, if, even if there's not another goal, if you've backed those six markets, you've won four out of the six already. You only need one more goal to win you know, 3.5 and then Two more goals would be great, um, and you get the over 4.5, which is odds of 3.3 before kickoff. Um, so, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. These are the four games today, actually. Grau, Christensen, Tronso, and Ranheim. Um, and, again, I think it's interesting to look at when you do look at, right, how many filters is this on? 
is this showing up on a few filters and if it is showing on four plus that seems to be the way to go looking at these results here you know so i mean we could add this selection to the pile and actually you know we've still got 100 percent over 1.5 at the moment because ranheim was over again same with over 2.5 another first half goal another both teams to score hopefully we get some late goals and we keep up uh, our track record there and obviously two goals would be fantastic but that's basically um just another thing that i've looked at today and gone there's a pattern here but if you notice what i haven't done is remove anything or change anything about this combined sheet i'm still going to track the games where they're only on three and i'm still going to look at this from the same perspective because all I need to do is input all the results. And then tomorrow, when I've done that, or whenever I do the results, I just select this, copy it with all the data input here that I'll need, and then flick over to the four plus filters tab, paste it in here. And once I do that, I'll have all the data again for another game and be like, okay, those four games, how did they get on? How does that now compare to the sheet? Um, so again, if you can be bothered to track this stuff from the beginning there's no point removing stuff and not still tracking what you were doing before and um, because other than just like not having the time or, or being too lazy about it you might miss out on an opportunity like this like if i wasn't doing the ratings here, i wouldn't know i wouldn't have known that oh hang on there's a pattern here that games are only having three aren't doing as well as games that have four they're on four or more filters um, anyway, guys, I'll leave you with that today. I'm quite pleased that uh, the game in play is doing well. Let's hope we can get another two goals there. And uh, thanks for watching the stream. Um, you know, If you've got any comments or anything, feel free to make them on the video. I do always try to reply to stuff. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Um, we're nearly at 10,000 subscribers. So if we could get there by the end of the year, that would be amazing. Um, and you know, you guys are just amazing anyway. So, uh, even if we don't get there, who cares, <laughs> but, uh, it would still be nice for us. Uh, anyway, I hope you have a great week guys. I hope you have a great day today. There's still football to trade luckily. Um, and most importantly, make some money on Betfair this week.